like go yard, yeah. D wagon, or the rover. I put some ice on you cause you gotta go. Hard. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Before we jump into the video, I do want to come to you guys with another collaboration with Dossier. I partnered with Dossier to bring you once again some affordable scents at great pricing. If for whatever reason you are not aware, Dossier is a fragrance brand that specializes in providing scents that are inspired by some of your favorite big name luxury fragrances. They offer things like Chanel, YSL, and the list goes on. Like pretty much any of the really big designer fragrances that you can think of, Dossier has them on their site. And the amazing thing about Dossier is that it's an amazing alternative to get some of your favorite scents or try scents that you've never tried before at such a discounted price. We all know how expensive those luxury fragrances can be and Dossier is there to give you them at a way cheaper price. Their fragrances range between $29 and $59 and they are always having sales as well. Also, make sure you check the description box because I have a coupon code that you can use on your order. I think we all know it's no secret at all how much I love Dossier. I just keep coming back with them. They really have a hold on me. Perfume has a hold on me. So any company that can deliver perfume at a amazing price while still delivering quality because that's the catch quality over quantity, but Dossier dominates in both categories. Their packaging is amazing. It is very simplistic, but it still gives luxury. This is still something that you could display on your perfume tray because it just really gives that minimalistic, luxurious vibe. Like everybody's a minimalist now. I'm not, but everybody else is a minimalist now. And we all want that really sleek, really simple design and Dossier delivers. They just keep on delivering. Two scents that I will be sharing with you guys today, you already got a little sneak peek of the first one. The first one is Woody Sandalwood. Let me make sure that focuses. And then we have Fruity Jasmine. So starting off with Woody Sandalwood, as you guys can see right on the bottle, they give you top, middle, and base notes. So there's never any questioning like what type of scent you're getting yourself into. No question at all. So like, honestly, you don't even really have to worry about what this is supposed to be inspired by. If you don't care anything about names at all, you can go on Dossier and look up some notes that you love and you'll probably find something that really matches a scent you love. So the top notes for Woody Sandalwood are violet leaves and cardamom. The middle notes are orris, ambrox, cedarwood, and cypriole, I guess. And the base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber. Of course, sandalwood had to be in there somewhere. And I really do love this scent. I really think it's pretty like fresh. We all know sandalwood is like a really fresh scent and this definitely delivers on that promise. I actually think this is gonna be the fragrance that I will wear today. Moving right on to Fruity Jasmine, which is inspired by Dior J'adore Uda Parfum. And it is a fruity scent as the name fruity implies. And one of the base notes is Jasmine as the second half of the name implies. So it's a great combination. I love Dior J'adore love it love it love it so it was no surprise that i also really enjoyed this scent by dossier as well i cannot say it enough how much i really encourage you guys to head over to dossier's website and really see if there's something that tickles your fancy and you can be a little baddie on a budget and go stock up on some of their scents i promise you will not be disappointed hotel room tour i got toothpaste okay so this is the front door because the people love showing the front door then we have a full body mirror this is oh i meant to show y'all this earlier this is what i have on today what i wore to the airport and what i had on all day pretty much that's why i'm ready to get in the shower 
Um, this is just a little two piece set from Shein. I have on my charm bracelet that my bestie just gave me. And then I have on my Tory Burch sandals as per usual. But yeah, back to the room tour. Here we have two queen beds, real nice piece of art on the wall. We have us a nice big screen TV. Look like it got Netflix on it. A little chair. I want the room, the one by the uh, window. Yeah, I called it already. And y'all not gonna be able to see the view. Oh, we do have a view. It's a, it ain't the best view in the world, but y'all can't be y'all can't see it that good. Y'all can see me. That's all. But yep, yeah, this is like a little span of the room. Nothing crazy. Nothing super luxurious or extravagant. But we also ain't bumming it, you know. Then we have the bathroom with the super nice mirror. That's me again. Then we have this super nice painting. I love the artwork that they put in this. Uh, Shinori is wiping everything down. Yes, we're in the middle of a pandemic still. Um, and then I love this shower here. We have a super nice tub with a shower as well. And we just have towels. We're definitely gonna need more towels. I go through towels like crazy. So we're definitely gonna need more towels. But um, I'm loving the mirror. And we're getting ready to go out. Dead, uh. Shinori just want to go out. <laughs> but I think we should live it up because we're in. First of all, we're on vacation. Oh, I ain't show y'all this it's closet. One it is one o'clock in the morning here. But that means it's only 12 o'clock in St. Louis, which means you would be up anyway. So I'm not understanding the issue. Um, so, yeah, we, I feel like we should just go out and have a good time. Our Uber driver was telling us about all these different um, places we can go. And so I'm just excited and I just want to go. Like, why we can't just do something? Even if we just go get food real quick at a bar. Like, God, don't be a granny of party pooper. It's usually me who be ready to go to bed all the time. Oh, yeah, I got to tell y'all about our plane ride. First time flying spirit for me. First time flying for Shinoria at all. So it went really, really good though. I was worried about our bags going missing. We got our bags. The flight was not real bumpy. It was probably one of the, just as smooth as any other flight I've been on, if not smoother. Um, only delay was when um, our flight was delayed 20 minutes. But I got a and I don't even think it was really delayed. 20 minutes they said it was delayed but i feel like we left when we were supposed to leave and we got here before we were supposed to get here but then when we got here another small delay which was like five six minutes maybe um there wasn't someone to bring the little bridge over to our plane door and so we had to wait for someone to come do that but like i said it took like five six minutes that's it so yeah it was a good very good spirit experience now we gonna wait for the flight home for my official verdict on spirit. But at this point, I think people are over exaggerating in on TikTok and stuff. Cause we had a grand old time on good old spirit. Mine is some kids. Oh, it was this little boy behind us. Oh my God, he was so annoying. He kept asking his parents like, I know kids are supposed to ask questions. I know you're supposed to, you know, not stifle their, you know, inquisitiveness, whatever the word is. But he just was just talking so much. Why is this? What's going on? Are they? Are we moving? He just, oh, he was talking so much. His mama was getting irritated with him too. His mama told him no, at one point. No, we started counting down when we was going to get ready to And Shinoya was already nervous, so him doing all of this was not making it no better. But his mama told him when they got up, when we was getting ready to get off the plane, he started talking some more. His mama told him, "I just want you to be quiet. You've been aggravating me this whole time. I wanted to say thank the Lord. Somebody said it." Somebody said it. His mama stepped. She said it. She was like, you've been aggravating me this whole time. I just want you to be quiet. Shut the hell up. She probably, if they was at home, that's probably what she would have said. Is Shut the fuck up. But she didn't. I'm trying to convince Shinori to go out. And I'm, I, y'all will see what we end up doing. Hey, vlog. 
I know I look crazy. I just hate how I look in my bonnet, but it's okay. It's okay. Ooh, I'm working on loving myself in all forms. So I'm not even gonna say I look crazy. Anyway, um, we did not go anywhere last night. I ordered food from Wawa. Tonight I got chicken noodle soup. Didn't give me no fork or spoon. I ordered a chicken quesadilla. It really wasn't good. And then I ordered two drinks. I ordered a milkshake and I ordered like a um, refresher, a, a strawberry and passion fruit refresher. Didn't get neither one of those. I was irritated, but I just went ahead and took my tail to sleep. Oh, then I couldn't get the vending machine to work. So I couldn't get none to drink. I was really thirsty. But yeah, so we are just uh, getting up for the day. It's like nine o'clock. And we have our day planned out pretty much, but you know, anything could happen, anything could happen. So right now, we are going to um, breakfast at this place called Ocean 2000, and it's at this hotel, um, but it's like by the water and everything, and it's perfect because it's about start, it's about to start warming up and getting sunny. Because as y'all probably can tell, sucky outside, but it's supposed to start warming up and um, getting real sunny real soon so we'll be by the water eating our breakfast that'll be good hope they still got breakfast food but they'll have something even if even if they move over to lunch we can still eat it don't matter and then um we're gonna go into this axe place and we're gonna do an axe house session so like the demolition and stuff and throwing axes and stuff like that then we're gonna go downtown and just kind of see what fort lauderdale has to offer and just walk around and stuff um and then we're gonna go out our Uber driver, he was super nice last night. He was showing us all the places we can go out and stuff. And he was saying like here, really, people don't really start going out until like 12 or one. Okay guys, we are headed out. I have on this green little top from uh, Marshalls. It's a bodysuit, my bag, and my these black shorts from Shein, and my Tory Burch sandals. And I just have on my jewelry. Uh, I just got on a chill set with my Air Forces and my Michael Kors purse. Yeah, tell us where you got your set from. Uh, Fashion Nova. Okay. okay. Okay, we are on our way out. I've never had avocado. I don't like it. Okay guys, we are here at the restaurant and it is so beautiful out here. This place is called Ocean 2000 and then it's it's inside of the, um, it's inside of a hotel. I forgot the name of the hotel though, but you can also just come to the restaurant. So that's what we did. It's so beautiful. Let me show you guys. So that's just what we're doing. We're about to order. Now we have to go get me some closed toe shoes for the ex house because silly me did not bring any closed toe shoes. But we're still gonna have a good time and we're gonna get just get the closed toe shoes and um I'm just gonna buy anything and I might take it back when I'm done. Because who's gonna check me? And I'll show you guys the food when it gets here. I'm sorry, vlog, I forgot to show you guys my food, but I got steak and eggs. And this is my third or fourth. I don't know. I'm, I'm not even sure. My third or fourth um, mimosa. And we have my bestie here. That's my best friend. She a real man. I'm no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we are having an amazing time here at Ocean 2000 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I definitely recommend. My bestie got the avocado toast. She's never had avocado before. And I told her it don't taste like nothing. But it tastes like cold ravioli. She said it tastes like cold ravioli. I've never heard that comparison, but y'all already told me that like, y'all like avocado toast. So y'all will probably like this avocado toast as well. My food is very good, very well seasoned and everything. Um, and the view is just something you cannot beat. So I definitely recommend Ocean 2000 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Huh? Waiter. The waiter is good. He keeps my bottom. Yeah, I got bottomless mimosa. The waiter been keeping them coming. You know, usually when you get a bottomless drink, they be making you ask for it. No, he been bringing them back at the back. So, he's definitely getting a good tip. But yeah, that's just what we're doing right now. We are going to a Chippendales-esque type of show tonight. And I'm not going to lie. I'm a little smith. I'm going to be in the club, though. 
<laughs> legally now. <laughs> legally. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just a tank tipsy. And we're having a good time. And we're having such a good time. And we're going to have a, such a good time in Florida. We're going to make Florida ours. You know what I mean? We're going to have a great <laughs> he called me Big Kurt. I'm making <laughs> some fun. <laughs> <Don't purr. laughs> We're sitting by too much avocado. We're sitting by children. We're sitting by children. I don't want to talk too loud. I'm probably yeah. yelling though. I'm probably yelling. But yes, let me show y'all the view one more time. One time for the one time. Yeah, that's what they be saying. You know what? I'm just gonna eat. And don't ask me why my bestie got on the AirPods. She ain't listening to any music. Don't come for her, though. <laughs> don't come. Don't <laughs> do it. I keep it in my ear like I got business calls coming in. <laughs> like the water don't Hey guys, I'm in Target right now, and I'm with my best friend. She a real bad <laughs> Okay, we're just getting some close toe shoes because you need those for X throwing. Apparently, you gonna have to pick my shoes out. I promise you, because I am in no pick. I am in no shape to pick shoes out, y'all. I had bottomless. I had bottomless mimosas in my server. I don't know what no, his no, name no, was. Man. I don't know what his name was, but he definitely. Oh, I, I kind of want some yellow rain boots. Girl. My server kept bringing the drinks back, so now I'm not a little. I'm not right. But yeah, we're just going to get some closed toe shoes for me. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah. $14.99. That's my type of time. You see how I rhyme there? I got on my sunglasses. You do what you want when you pop them. You do what you want when you pop them. Hey. You do what you want. You do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. way bigger than mine. That's my best friend. Okay. Okay, we just we came from the restaurant to Target. We had a really nice Uber driver. He was very nice. Do you know his name? Okay, but he's very nice. Whatever his name was. He's a very nice man. And so now we're here. And then we're about to leave out of here. And then we're going to go to the axe throwing. And Shinoria says she don't want to throw axes after me. She want to throw axes when I'm done with throwing axes, I don't know why, but she said that. Cause you drunk and you ain't finna hit me with no damn axe. Say it again. You're drunk. You're not finna hit me with axe. So yeah, that's all we got going on right now. See y'all later. Agreed. Look at grilling now everybody. That white boy ruined your day. <laughs> <laughs> tap 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 in. Don't miss on your neck. We going on these steps and we don't know what's leading to them. <laughs> Easier it would be to throw with one hand, but these heavy ones, just first try it out with two and then if you're comfortable, you can throw it with one. So grab the axe from the bottom of the handle. Make sure your hands are stacked like mm -hmm. this. Bring it all the way behind your back. Swing it forward and then release the axe once it gets to your Can you step. do one for us? Okay. okay. Just one swing and it spins one time and then the sharp end hits the board and it sticks. Oh. Okay. Yeah, mine dropped like that too. You ain't sticking. <laughs> Hey guys, we are headed to, my mask is dirty with makeup, don't mind. But we are about to leave out, my phone's about to die, so I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get from tonight. But we are headed to, this like, it's like a Chippendale show. Um, and that's where we're going tonight. I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can for y'all, but I don't know how bright the future is looking, so we gonna see.
okay vlog so we are leaving i'm a vehicle first of all i'm an oily mess second of all we are leaving la blair la bear la bear that's what it's called um we are leaving and we had a good time till valentino i'm looking for him yes valentin shenoria is looking for valentino but yeah we um came we saw we conquered and we had a good old time great amazing we are headed to the next function so oh my gosh, she told up. i knew she was told up the way she was hitting that money on the y'all i didn't know it was a strip club strip club i ain't know that i ain't knew that why is she calling me i'm gonna make what it was and was okay well i'll check in with you guys a little later hey vlog y'all vlog let me turn the tv down i don't know where the rub is i'm just gonna speak up um you guys i am not okay <laughs> It is 2 o'clock the next day and I still have on the exact same outfit I had on last night. I At least I had enough sense to wipe off my makeup last night. That's about where my sense ended though. I don't remember the ride home. I remember leaving the club. We went to two clubs. We went to a strip club and then we went to another club. I remember leaving the club. Remember... I remember leaving my friend out of the club and that's where it ends. That's where it ends. But I guess, you know, that's what all I needed to remember, I suppose. Um, we had a really good time. We went to this place called Club Euro. Um, the Uber driver that drove us to our hotel, like when we first got here, he recommended Club Euro. And it was definitely a good time. They had hookah, which, oh, the hookah hit the spot, y'all. The hookah hit the spot um they had drinks we were drinking the music was really good the music the music at both the strip club and the club was very good like at the strip club they did an amazing job of mixing between like our type of music spanish music and then they also mixed in like popular you know like pop or white people whatever music whatever you want to call it like they did a good job of mixing it all up it was a really good blend and then at the club euro they had really good music too and the drinks were good then y'all somehow some way we stumbled upon the owner i believe he was the owner i really believe he was the owner so it was two bartenders at the bar um when i first walked in we just kind of moved to the bar and this girl was taking care of us and she kept taking care of me every time i went back to get more drinks or whatever she kept taking care of me <laughs> Then we had went and sat down, smoked our hookah, was drinking our drinks, dancing, blah, blah, blah. And then we decided, but we were in like a little back area. And so we decided we wanted to come to the front. When we came to the front, we was like, let's get some more drinks. So we went to a different side of the bar that we were normally not in. So, and we weren't getting taken care of, child. So, um... I moved around to the back so we can get to the other girl's side of the bar because that's I was like oh they must split the bar in half and she probably can't help me if I'm over here so I went back around the back of the bar so I can get on her side of the bar and she helped me as soon as I came over there so then this man said something to me he was like oh what happened did you not get serviced over there so you came over here I was like yeah um I can't see I just decided to come over here and he was like oh what can i what do you need that's what he said he was like oh what do you need and i was like oh she's getting it already and he said good okay cool and i'm like okay then the lady hand, gets ready to hand me my drinks now and i have the card in hand and she was like you're good and so i turn around and he was nodding behind me like he was nodding like like i got it basically so i'm like oh, okay thank you sir then we, we so we drinking our drinks we stand in we having a good time and he's still like we stayed in the same area that he was already in not purposely we just did and then um my friend dropped her drink it wasn't number ice in her no way and he was like oh what happened and um i was like oh she dropped her drink and he was like get her another one um he was like tell her to get you and he was talking about the bartender he said tell her to get you another one and i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> so the bartender got us another one once again we didn't have to pay nothing 
then we you know drinking that drink drinking that drink we get another round on him um then we drinking that drink and he asked me he was like who's driving and i said neither one of us are driving We're, we ubered here and he was like oh we'll get another round in i was like okay you ain't gonna tell me twice so he was uh getting um all our drinks all night y'all i mean i my stuff is just scattered everywhere i had no sense to take off my makeup but i woke up i saw one earring in one bathroom in the bathroom one earring was uh, not in the bathroom like my all my i just don't know what happened but definitely had a great time like yesterday we had so much fun i was telling shenoria if we left today if we left right now I wouldn't be mad like because we had that much of a good time yesterday that I would feel like I had a full experience in Fort Lauderdale so I wouldn't even be mad if we left like right now even though we still finna go do more stuff I'm just saying like let's say we had a one day trip if yesterday was our one day I think we definitely succeeded but yeah now we are about to go eat we need some grease we need some substance in our body I'm here at the beach. I have sand on my face. Don't mind that. But um, I'm in my little sweatshirt that me and my bestie, we got matching sweatshirts. It just says um, Fort Lauderdale Beach. Um, I did have on my swimsuit. Well, I still have on my swimsuit. I just put on uh, my sweatshirt over it. It's a little windy, but it's still a good time. Um, I don't know the last time I talked to y'all, but we went and we ate. And then we came to the beach. Um, let me show y'all the view. This is what we're working with. Um, it's not the sunniest day, but that's okay. It's still very beautiful out. Look at those clouds. Yes. And then I'm just sitting here. Um, I'm reading. Men don't love women like you. And yeah. We've been having a good time. I feel a lot better. Update, I feel a lot better. Um, Cause whoo, a few hours ago, I was not okay. I feel a lot better now though so we're just here enjoying the scenery um it's a great day to be in fort lauderdale hey vlog y'all can't see me and the music is on so i gotta talk quick but we are at this restaurant called the rock bar and we got smothered nachos as my appetizer and i got um like a pollo loco for my food um i really wanted the red snap the whole snapper but they are out of it so that's cool i guess I never shows you guys our view in the daytime so this is what we're working with um just a little water and then there's like some downtown buildings over there nothing special but it's still a little view you know and now we're just about to go to the starbucks that's inside of the hotel and then hit the pool up oh my gosh you guys look at these huge lizards oh my gosh look at all of them Hey guys, oh look at this skin, sun kiss, girl. <laughs> we are sitting by the pool. Oh my gosh, I gotta get a selfie with this sun right here. Woo. But we're sitting by the pool, um, y'all. We sharing the pool with lizards. Well, not the pool, but we sharing the pool area with lizards, child. I tried to show y'all a little bit of them. Let me try to see if I can get one again, cause this one is real big over here. Are these salamanders? Is are the or, or I don't know what these are called. I don't want to disrespect their species, but I don't know what they're called. But yes, the pool is so pretty. There is a little waterfall, and then we just have the pool here. And the palm trees I love. And then let me, there's a hot tub. And there's some lizards hanging out by the hot tub. Let me see if I can get close enough without getting close. Y'all see that real big one? Oh my gosh. Yeah, but they don't bother like they haven't bothered us so that's good oh they do have floats okay good well yeah y'all we finna just relax and have a good old time at the pool i brought my book and it's gonna be a vibe we are headed out to the mall and then tattoos 
I'm wearing this outfit. It was straight off the mannequin at Free to People. It is a t-shirt with a little dress. This is actually a dress and I just have it, the t-shirt over it. And then these shoes I got from, I think she in a long time ago. Outfit of the day. Um, Fashion Nova, Macy's guest bag, and then Falaka. Okay, we are out. Y'all, we are outside the tattoo shop and I just wanted to show you guys this view. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, vloggy vlog. We are back. We got our tattoos. Let me try to show you guys mine. I don't know if I'll be able to. So this is my tattoo. I just got some butterflies going down behind my ear. And now we are getting ready to go out. I just have on this dress from... I got this dress from Shein a while ago. Not my latest Shein order. This has been a minute I got this from them. It's just a long sleeve off the shoulder. Y'all know I love it off the shoulder. Um, And it is a midi. It can go longer. It just keeps riding up. I have on these red um, shoes. They are strap ups. And I am going to wear that with my black Louis bag. And that's servant body yes 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 well yeah we're about to go to this uh pizza place um this is our last night here we've been having a really really good time um and yeah i can't really think oh we went to the mall we went to uh boca town center at boca raton and i got some we got some bath bombs with, like cbd um bath bombs i got some regular bath bombs shinori got um what is it called? Bath and Body Works. And then I got some Tory Burch sandals. And we both got some charms for our Pandora bracelets. Um, we have matching ones, but we didn't get matching charms this time. I got this pretty rose gold one with the diamond. And then I also got another pretty rose gold one with the flower. It's the exact same makeup from earlier. I didn't really change anything. I just came and put on a little bit of powder and then I resprayed my face. Um, and that's it. I have my hair up in this high pony because uh, the girl said, the girl who did my tattoo, she was super sweet. She was super light handed, but she said um, to try to keep my hair off of the back of my neck for the next couple of days. So I'm wearing this high pony and I really like it. And yeah, that's it. Maybe hopefully if it's not too dark in the restaurant, I will try to uh, vlog when we get there. Hey guys, so we are at the St. Louis airport. We just made it back um, from Florida. Um, so let me tell y'all, Spirit got a tad bit ghetto, but they told us they was going to get ghetto, so I can't even be mad at them. They sent us an email like two days ago, and it was like, there are going to be expected, um, high, expected high, large wait times in every large lines, and so you should arrive at least two hours early to the airport. They weren't lying when we got there at the airport, like the Spirit check-in and bag drop and everything, it was packed like the line was super long but the line was moving like it wasn't moving super slow so i wasn't mad and then we got there early like they told us to so we didn't have no problems but one thing they did that i never seen no other airline do which is good they were like calling people for flights that like were about to be leaving soon so like they were letting those people get in front so like if you were going to boston and they knew Boston was leaving soon. They didn't want you to be in the back of the line. Which is cool because people don't do that. But people are still missing their flights. And I don't understand because that's all they told y'all. They told y'all it was going to be a long line. And then you should just always come to the airport a little early anyway. So I don't know what people was doing. But we made it. No bags were lost. No flights were canceled. No flights were delayed. Next place we're gonna go is Vegas, but we also need to go out the country. That's gonna be the next place. Next place got to be Vegas or out the country. We 
family and we had a really good time thank you guys for watching this vlog and i will see you guys in the next vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe